When you're performing an arc flash study, especially if this is one of the first arc flash studies that, that you're undertaking, it's really easy to get lost in, in all the data and in all the details. There's just so much going on. But one of the things that you need to keep in mind, actually to keep the focus on, is the primary objective of an arc flash study is simply to determine what level of PPE to wear. Whether you want to wear eight calorie PPE, eight calorie per square centimeter, or, or 12, or, or whatever your rating is. And a couple of years ago, I wrote an article that, that basically the, the premise of the article was to perform an arc flash study, perform it backwards. And you might think, what do you mean by backwards? Well, what I mean is determine what you want your answer to be first. And again, you might think that is kind of backwards. Your answer first, that, that doesn't sound quite right. Well, actually, it makes sense because what happens is most people, most companies and organizations have an idea of what type of PPE, what rating, what arc rating of PPE they think is reasonable. And right now, for most companies and most people, that would be 8 calorie or maybe 12 calorie per square centimeter for an arc rating. And so that's actually your answer. And the arc flash study is really to support that answer. So as an example, let's take a look at the results of this arc flash study. That in this case, I'm showing the results and we have the main switch gear, panel 1A, motor control center one and panel number two. And really what you're doing in this case is you wanna focus on the highest incident energies and you actually wanna look at all of the incident energies to make sure that they all are below the arc rating that you wanna use. So in this case, if this group were gonna be using, let's say eight calorie per square centimeter as an arc rating for PPE, what this study did is it just confirmed that eight calorie would be sufficient. I use the analogy of, of like a short circuit study. Some of you have performed short circuit studies before, and it's kind of similar because in a short circuit study, yes, you're performing detailed calculations of the, the perspective short circuit current, but what you're really doing is you're comparing those currents against an interrupting rating that's already in place or, or an interrupting rating that you want to use. And so this is kind of the same thing that an arc flash study, what you're really doing is performing the incident energy calculations to verify that the arc rating that you want to use is going to be sufficient. 